Hey everyone, this is Chad from GadgetGuruHD.com and in this video I'll be going over how to get Android L on your Android device without rooting it. But before we get started, I would like to give everyone a heads up that they can purchase the new hybrid bumper case and Amfilm screen protector for the Galaxy S5 and HTC One M8 right now. But be sure to use the coupon code GADGET15 for 15% off your order. Now the way we're going to do this is using Nova Launcher Beta, Android L keyboard, and the new Android L wallpapers to make your phone look like it's on the latest version of Android. The first step is to head on over to this page of my website, which contains all the links I'll be referencing throughout this video. It'll be down in the description and also annotated on screen to make everything extremely easy to find. Next thing you'll need to do is go ahead and join the beta testing community of Nova Launcher and then download the APK of the latest beta version. At the time of this video, it is 3.02, but by the time you're watching, it could be something completely different. Now, after installing Nova Launcher, we're going to go ahead and mess around inside the settings. We'll change the folder preview to lined like it is in Android L. Next, we'll go into look and feel and change up the app animation to make our current phone run like it was a Nexus 5 or Nexus 7. And next up, we'll long hold on the app icon that is used to trigger the app drawer and change the current icon to the new white Android L icon. Now moving back into the Nova settings, we'll add a permanent filled in search icon to again make it look like our device is actually running Android L. By now your phone should have the animations and give a general feel of an Android L device, but it probably doesn't actually look like it. So now we'll need to install some of the wallpapers to give our phone an Android L experience. You'll want to go ahead and navigate back to my website and download the new wallpapers from Dropbox. After applying one of the new backgrounds, you'll want to go ahead and install the Android L keyboard from the Google Play Store. And again, I advise using the direct Google Play link I provided, just to make sure it's from a reputable source. Just for reference, this one is from Shen Ye, and downloading the keyboard is a simple process, just go ahead and install it and apply it as the default keyboard. At the current time, I haven't been able to find any updated APKs of the default Google apps like Gmail or YouTube. I've seen the new ones, but they all have the general look and feel of the current versions, but I'll keep everyone updated in the comments section of this video and also on my website. Hopefully this helped you all out. If it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.